Oh, Vinnie Boy's here. Now, Shannon's not here tonight. Little Noah is sick, and um, he's got the flu, by the way. And you got the the uh, camera, the, the phone view tonight. I couldn't get it out. Got the phone view tonight because I didn't have a switcher with Shannon out here, and I also didn't want to take a chance of it being bad tonight. So we're just doing it with the phone. So that just means you can't see our faces, but y'all know what they look like. They just as, you know, they just the same. I was going to say, they're just as pretty as always, but that'd be rude, wouldn't it? <laughs> we got the same faces, okay? So, look, we've already started the buffering thing, and we just turned this on. So, that's not good. Um, let me see if it's something I can do to fix it. Hang on just a second. Y'all might get dizzy for a second, but let me see. I don't understand why it does this to me, but it does. Let's see. Okay, maybe that'll do it. If it keeps buffering, I'm telling y'all, we're just having not good tech lately. I feel like it's frozen again. And I don't know why, y'all. <laughs> Let's let it catch up and see if it get better. Let's let it get better. Okay. Shannon, pay attention. It is it is buffering so bad on my end for the monitor that I can't even see it. So, y'all just let me know what's going on. Okay. So, okay, what I want to do, let me know if it's buffering bad because I feel like it is based on what I'm seeing. What I want to do tonight is I want to answer a question that tends to be my most asked question from you guys. And I understand why, okay? I totally get it. I'll tell you what that question is. It is, what do we do with these guys? Okay, because I have raved about them, right? I've said, y'all will love these. You need these. You're going to love them. So that's question number one I get a lot. And question number two is, what do we do with these guys? These are those hardbound books from um, 49 and Market. There's this one. We have a thinner version, which we're going to look at tonight more up close. And we have one other version that has the little envelope situation. So that's what I want to talk about tonight. And what I thought I'd do is show you something I think is really, really cool that you guys might not realize from these guys. Number one, what are these? Okay. Can you see which Wi-Fi you're on? It's on my phone, so it's on whichever one it connected to without paying attention. Is it buffering? It is not buffering, but it is blurry. Um, that may be because when we buffered, it sends people, like, check your, um, do your wheel down there and change your, change your resolution or whatever it's called. Sometimes when we buffer, it'll send it to like 140 to make it be able to be easily seen. And you have to go change it back to 1080, if that makes sense. Same, Thank you. Same thing. Okay, so <laughs> these guys are little like folios or envelope sets or waterfalls, things like that. And if you look on the back of them, they show you what they can be, okay? But... <laughs> And not always do we understand what that is. Even though we can see all these pictures, we don't always understand or it doesn't always make sense. So what I want to do tonight is kind of show you what you get in these packages, what it can be used for, and why you want them. This is the one I'm going to put together tonight. And one of the reasons I'm going to is because I was looking at it today and I saw this. It includes three folios for cascading waterfalls. And I was like, this has three folios in it. Like, this is a new one, and I haven't played with these, okay? I'm like, this has three folios in it? Well, it does, because let me show you something. This is this set. This is the foundation pages in, um, wait, we're putting together C. Hang on, let me move it over here, because I've got them mixed up now. All right, foundation pages C in white, but we're going to put together tonight the foundation pages C in black. So it's the same thing, and look, it makes all three of these folios that you can open and it puts it makes the waterfall just wait till you see how easy this is so that one does that waterfall this one does this waterfall and then look at this one this one does a double waterfall on either side then i'll show you what we do with them from there all right can we put three together in 30 minutes i think we can yes you can yes, i you think can. we can let's see all right, so you'll want to ask your questions for me as we go, but let me show you. So I took everything out of here, okay? And you can use the back as a reference, but once you see this done once, you won't even need it. Let's take this all apart. So let's just pull this guy out. Okay, I'm going to pull this one out. And you can see he's a trifold, 
okay? And the other thing I want you to see is there are score marks here. I wanna make sure you can see those. So there's three little score marks here. These are reference marks, which I'm so excited about because a lot of times when you don't have those reference marks, you, you kind of struggle with getting everything laid out right. These are right here for you. So I'm gonna show you how that works. So there's one folio piece. These guys are your waterfall pieces, pre-cut, pre-scored, pre-everything. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm enjoying this pre-done stuff. Y'all know I've been watching a lot of sewing videos, right? And I'm just gonna tell you, the kits in the sewing world have me hooked. And I'm like, you know what? The, we have the same thing here, and we should utilize it. This is what, the, I have it right here, kits. I have to say, the sewing kits definitely have you hooked. They have me hooked, but guess what? We have it right here, too. Now, look, this is another folio piece, but do you see these these um, lines go this way? They go a little different. So, And then this is another folio piece, and it has the little lines as well. So let's put those together. Now, these guys... You guys might be like, what in the world are these for? I'm going to show you once we put these together. Let's start with the biggest one. I think it's really cool, the trifold one. So I'm going to move all our pieces out of the way, and I'm going to open this guy up. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to fold on all the score lines, okay? I would really like to film for you guys a video assembling each one of these, okay? I feel like it would help you. If I took every package and filmed me assembling them and then put that up online for you guys to see, because it can get confusing. However, what I want to tell you tonight about this one, or as we do this one, is you can edit these any way you want. You don't have to do them the way that they are lined out. You just have these pieces. You can do what you want. But I know you want to do what you're told to do. I get it. I do too. It's a kit, right? All right. Double score lines here. We're going to fold and crease, we're doing crafters calisthenics. Fold, fold and crease and fold and crease and fold and crease. All you have to do, by the way, when you're doing these, okay, is just watch that back picture. This is the one we're putting together right now, okay? It's so easy. Honestly, I've avoided these a little bit because I thought they were harder than they are because the older versions, I loved those. I loved um, the first folios that 49 and Market came out with. Because I thought they were super easy. Well, I didn't realize how much she'd given us here with all these, like, uh, score marks for us and stuff. I didn't realize that she'd done all this reference work for us, which makes things super easy. So, I'm just going to get three ready right now. Because these three are going to go in our big guy. Get this going like this. All right. Well, let me show you what you do. We're going to bring this one over, okay? And looking at our reference lines... Now, I'm just using art glitter glue. You can use sticky tape. Um, 49 and Market, they use sticky tape a lot, but you know me, I love this. So I'm going to use my art glitter glue right here where we folded this. So we've made like that little book. And you see this mark right here? I'm gonna stand this guy up and I'm gonna line it up to that, that score mark and center it in the middle of our folio here. Then I'm gonna lay this down and burnish it into place. See this? And of course, I'm going to stream out some glue because that's what I do. But all that will go away. Don't worry. Okay? So there's that. And look, our first waterfall panel is in. That's how easy that is. Now we're going to go to the second one. We're going to go right here, add a little glue. Go to that second waterfall, or that, not, that second score line. Center this guy up. And one thing you can do, once you get him centered and lay him down, is just kind of line him up with the one underneath, because you know, you're not you're not gonna be perfectly centered every time. That makes sense, so we get that guy down, and then I'm gonna open it and burnish it again. Look how quick, y'all. You ever made a waterfall this fast? And you know why we love these? Because Christmas, because listen, even if you haven't got your Christmas presents done, you can make these in an afternoon. All you need is paper and photos. And honestly, you don't need photos. If you're giving this as a gift, somebody else can put their own in, okay? <laughs> Look at this. That's done. Now, I'll show you more in a few minutes, but that's this folio done. We scored and creased. That's the first folio. Let's do the second one. So, we'll get another one of our pieces, which I set aside and now I can't find. Here they are. 
We'll get another one of our pieces. I want to do this one next, yeah. I want to save right. that. Something is tragically wrong. What do you mean? Tragically wrong. There's 500 people watching, oh. and we only have 115 likes. That is tragic. I I'm mean, honest. tragedy has struck. It's tragic. I do have to show y'all this because this is not tragic. I discovered this earlier, and I love it. Do you see these score marks on this side? First off, let me tell you how I discovered it, okay? So I'm like, this foliage, this waterfall is supposed to be on the right, but my score marks are on the left. Okay, don't judge me how many times it took me. <laughs> I'm going, why is it on the right, but my score marks are on the left? And then I went, oh. <laughs> so you can just turn it over and just change your score. Listen, don't judge me. I was in this room. The heat was getting to me. I had my heater on too high and for too long. And I was I was not thinking clearly, okay? So here we go. I'm going to turn these score marks to the way I need it to go. But if you wanted your um, waterfall on the other side, you can do that. And then we're going to grab three more pieces that are already scored for us in our folio or in our pack. We're going to put these together. There's nothing like this one. Waterfalls are not hard. They just intimidate us, but they're not hard. They're one of those things, if you've ever made one, you're like, oh, well, that wasn't so hard. But um, these make it really easy. I'm glad no one else does that. Kim thinks I'm funny. Does that mean you've never done that before? <laughs> and you know I would have said it in a video. I would have said it in a video, and then people would have been like, meh, meh. You can just flip it over. You just flip it. Just flip it over. <laughs> I don't have a clue what you're doing, and I knew to just flip it over. It took me a good a good three minutes to what, go. You know, Why is you this are backwards? just about blitzed in your mind from all the, the activities that we've had going go. on. Why is this backwards? <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm going to center this one on that score mark. Could this get any easier? Come on. I mean, I think Vinny could do it. Let's don't try it. <laughs> I'm not insulted by that, by the way. Shannon says she's not, she's sorry, she's not here to help me with my orientation. <laughs> <laughs> my orientation is always a problem. It is my nemesis. Okay, so I'm putting this guy in and squishing him down. And guess what? One more, um, Waterfall in, and that's two folios created. Created. Hey guys, I need you to be praying for little Noah. He hadn't been feeling too good. He's got the flu, running high fever. Uh, so y'all be praying for Shannon and Blake and Noah, because I imagine they all need a few prayers. <laughs> it's a signature, Mary, and it is. Look, folio two done. How long have we been going? Like seven minutes? Not long, 12, 12 minutes. Yeah, but 12 minutes from even my first talking and trying to get things organized. All right, I'm going to do this one, and I'll show you this as well because this is one of my faves, okay? Do you see? Oh, this is one that's upside down. One of the things is when you get them out of the package, I think they're folded, they're folded opposite, so you have to kind of make that fold happen. Okay, check this out. So, these are smaller. See that? So, I'm going to fold these and crease these just the same. Okay? Just like we did. And then, these score marks go like this. I was so interested in this. Okay? I've never made a waterfall like this. And I was like, this is intriguing to me. Okay? So, check this out. I'm going to turn this where I can see it. And I'm going to line this up on that score mark right there. And I loved how the one I put together earlier came out because I've never done a waterfall going from the sides like that. Just love it. So you can't just spin it. You have to turn it over because if you just spin it, you, you keep the same marks. They stay right. But you just turn it upside down. Just turn it over and upside down. Then they go where they're supposed to go. So if you, but I mean, they can go on either side. It doesn't matter. All right. So put this guy down again. Y'all know this is the third one, right? We're making the third folio, like we're assembling the third folio right now, which is good because I really want to show y'all how to assemble another set that I have. I hope I have it in here because I really like how it turned out, but look how easy. Now, here's what I love about this too, okay? If you are making this at home, I honestly would not assemble this first thing. Let me tell you why. I'd go ahead and cover. 
I'd go ahead and cover like my background page and stuff like that. Now I'd have to mark my, I'd have to be mindful of where my little um, score marks are or mark them in some way or something. But isn't it convenient to go ahead and put your background page down and then do your waterfalls? I think it is. I think it is. All right, three more to go down. And we've just assembled three folios. Then I'm gonna show you what you do with these. Yes, Mary, I think Open House was a great success uh, all over our city. Everyone was thrilled. Um, you guys came out in great numbers, and we could not have thanked you enough for your support and your help in our area. Would you agree? A, it was amazing. Every business owner was just like, are you kidding me? They were so honored um, to have you guys in their stores or their restaurants or wherever. It was amazing. Uh, amazing. I think several of the businesses had record-setting weekends. Yeah. Sure enough. All right, last one, and that's three assembled in God, 15 minutes. I should have paid attention earlier to how long it took me when I opened them up for the very first times, but 15 minutes. All right, check this out. So now we have this waterfall situation, top and bottom. Isn't this neat? I've never seen this before. I really liked it. And then look, it goes like that. Now, what do you do with these? Couple things, okay? You can decorate these just like any old folio. You have three complete folios, okay? All you need to do is put photos in, put paper in, decorate them up, maybe add a closure, maybe add a belly band, something like that. Or we can do what they're intended for. I, I say intended, because let me show you this. Where does it say it? Um, Use alone or add into our foundations album and binder. So you can use them alone, but let me show you this. So this one, this is my favorite. You see the trifold magnetic closure one? This is the thin one. Do you see that? Let me show you what you can do. You don't even know how this works. Let me show you. Well, we haven't, you haven't really got to play with it much. Well, I've done one album. I did a Downton album, but it was an older, um, it was an older one of these. But check this out. Magnets built in. Did you see that? Watch this. Magnet built in. See it? And then I would add something to make open and closing easier when you guys are decorating. But this one's my favorite because look at this pocket that is also magneted. How cool, right? Then what you do is you pick what you want to put in here. So maybe you want to put this trifold folio. Okay, this is the one we made first. This is the one that opens like this with a waterfall in it. Maybe you want to install this one here. These are made so you can glue these directly down, okay? And then they have all this protection in your folio. Now you would mix, it doesn't matter how you do it. You can do the black ones or the white ones. I'll show you this with the white. So that's having the black one in. And then when you open it up, I didn't glue it down, but I'm showing you what it does. Do you see that? Or you can come over here. This is the same one, I already did it. You can take the white one so it blends, okay? And you can put it right down like this. All right, and then you can do just like this. The um, waterfall lines aren't really a problem if you cover them up because they don't really fold. They're just for reference. You just want to make sure you don't you don't get into your spine. Make sure I say that. I, wanna, I don't want y'all. Those lines that are on here are literally just for reference. They never actually bend. How cool is this? Come on, look. Okay, it gets better. Watch. Then let's say we want to put something. I'm gonna close this one down. Let's say we want to put something over here. Let me show you something. This is really cool. Let's use a white one again. And let's use this one. So let's do it on the other side. So this is the other wall, basically, other door. I had to move my drink or I'm going to spill it. This is the other door. And you can take this. is banging the knock. Can you hear it? Next door. Yeah, yeah they just a dancing. You can glue this in here. And that gives you this with another waterfall, or here's what I love. These folio kits all come with these guys, okay? Yeah, but wait, there's more. You fold, These are binding strips, okay? So for this one, for example, what you would do is you would glue this, if you wanted to, you don't have to, they're just bonus, to the side of your little book, okay? 
Then you glue that little piece into your book. And what you can then do is open this. You see that? You can then open it and even have more landscape. Come on. Yeah. Say it ain't so. Even more if you want it. Isn't that crazy? That's what these are for. Now, with that one pack, let me show you. Looks it, but wait. With this one pack that we just assembled, you can have a folio for here, a folio for the middle, and a folio for this side with this one pack. Let me put the other one in here, too. Just going to slide this up and put this one over here, okay? Okay. So then look, now you've got on this side, of course, I'm already off camera. Let me turn it sideways. Over here now, I've got this set up in here. Isn't that awesome? And remember, you can do any kind of decorating you want. So we've got a folio in the middle, okay? One thing you want to pay attention to, let me see if I did or not. I think only one of these sides can get a folio. Yes. You have to pick the side you want it on. Here's why. One of these magnets, not this side, other side. So you do have to check that. So this one can go here. And then this one would go here. So everything's in there and encased. Okay. That is how these things work. And so many of you have asked me, because we have so many of them in store, because I think they're so cool. That's how they work. So when you're not comfortable making these albums with chipboard and all that kind of stuff, but more than that, I want to show you this. Look at this quality. Can you see this? I can turn this back. See how I can do that? When I make these myself out of chipboard, I do not get this kind of movement. Now, I want to tell you something. Y'all are going to go, well, you just don't know what you're doing. I've made these a thousand times. I know how to do this. I know how to give myself the space. I know how to do it. There's something about these pre-made ones that are so much better. You see? Something about them. I think you can put two in the center because you could put one here and then put one on this flap that's on the bottom. And that will easily close up in there. Yeah, two in there will fit fine. See that? That's awesome. It is really, really cool. But and I know people say, oh, I like I like the assembly. Then do the assembly. That's perfectly fine. But we can't do this this good. I'm just telling y'all, I I have made chipboard albums for years. Okay. And I've never, yes, all three will fit if you put two in that center and one on the side. I've never made one that's this kind of quality. Look, there's no cracking. Do you see this? There's no cracking. I never get that. No matter how hard I try, there's no cracking anywhere. So there's that one. And like I said, there's multiples. Let me show you this other one. So this is the quad folio. And all of these folios like this, all of these are made to do what I'm showing you. Okay? So look at this right here. See this? This is how this one goes. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Okay, so look. So this folds back like this. This folds back like this. This goes back like this. And then this magnet's right there. Look how many you can get in here. Look, you can get one there, two there, one there, maybe even more. Isn't that amazing? I think it's so cool. And it not only just keeps going like that, if you add these binder strips and you put your folios in, it still keeps going. It still keeps going. All right, so I wanna try to put one more. Let's see, let me show you another one. I really, really liked how this one turned out. Let me show you this one. So this is Foundation Pages A, and I wanna show you what you get in this one. I love this, okay? You get, the first one we used was Foundation Pages C. That's the one we use first, Foundation Pages C. But Foundation Pages A gets you two different folios, okay? You get this one and this one, which can lay out vertical. I mean, can lay out, yeah, vertical or horizontal. Let me show you what I put together. So using this kit, this one is, let me make sure I tell you, Foundation Pages A, the one I'm showing you right now. Look how this one does. Check this out. So I've got, I did this. You can do it whatever way you want to, okay? I did this, so it opens like that. Then when you open this page, you flip it up. That's how I installed it. And then you can flip this one open. And I thought this was cool. What if you had this one go down and this one go across and maybe this one had a magnet to hold that down? Wouldn't that be cool? I love this. And of course, this will fit in any of the hard 
case binders. All right, and then look, I thought that would be cute if you did it like that, but I did that one like that. Now, all three of these are not in one packet, right? Yeah, okay, look. The two I'm showing you right now, one pack, okay? The three I showed you earlier, one pack. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, let me show you. So, what a bargain. I know, from Foundations, you're so funny. From Foundations, pages C, okay, you get three in one pack. Includes three folios. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. All of that is in this pack, okay? And this pack that I'm showing you right now, you get these two. Now, let me show you this one. I put a magnet on this one because I thought it was cute to put a magnet right there. You put it on before? Before. I did. I don't even know Go how ahead. I did. And then, look at this. When you open this one up, I want to show you. In this pack, okay, you get two folios, two portrait pages, four landscape photo mats. Those portrait pages are these, okay? And here's what I did. See how it's got this right here? I added that on myself, you see? So it goes like this. This folio, because I added this page over here too, opens out this way. It opens out this way. Then this one opens out like that. And look inside, flip, 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 flip. Or, or you can make a waterfall in here and just have one waterfall. Mm. I thought it was cool to have the four flippies. Right? I like flippies. I like flippies. And then look, close it up, magnet it. These two can also go in any of the bigger pieces. Isn't it cool? Isn't it cool? It's very impressive. And, and, and having that much in one kit makes it such a good bargain. They're all that way. Let me show you. So Here's this another. one, this is envelope gatefold flip folio in white. Now what this one offers you, okay, is one of two things. First off, it tells you. You get one folio, that one folded on score lines, measure six and a quarter by eight and a quarter. The pieces can be scored to mix and match in various con configurations. So this one looks like an envelope when it's closed up and you can put it together in this configuration where you have opening doors that makes the gate fold. You have a flip if you want it, or you can turn it horizontal and have an open page, a, a gate fold, and it closes sideways, okay? There's those spines I was telling you about that you can add into all the books to make the whole piece open so you have another page inside. Mm. So this one, like I said, does one folio, but it's the envelope one. And I actually made this one in the Downton um, album. So you've seen that one assembled. This one makes three cascading waterfalls, okay? So you can get a horizontal or a vertical and these two are smaller and this one's bigger. So you get three waterfall structures that when folded on the score lines um, and adhered together, create four cascading sheets with a strap and a mat. This piece is a mat, this is the strap, and you have that inside as well. Also, this one comes with the magnets that you need. Many of them do, some of them don't, but many of them do. Let's see. So this one, this one, this one, and this is one large measure. Okay, so here's what you get in this. You get one that's six and a quarter by eight and a quarter that fits in those books perfectly. Then you get two that are four by six and a quarter, which can go sideways in there. So you can flip them out and all that kind of stuff. But as a bonus, you really don't, I mean, it's cool to have them in that big case. You don't have to have it. But you don't even have to do no, that. That's what I love about it. One place these can go, guys, is in your own scrapbooks. If you're a scrapbooker, this is a great place to add an element to your scrapbook because this is easy and done for you. Then, I'm gonna keep showing you these other ones real quick. This one, I did use this one. I know I did. If you're having uh, viewing issues, be sure to uh, click that little wheel and make sure your resolution is on the best um, or the highest resolution that you can get and that will help with blurriness. Sometimes, you know, your computer will automatically select the wrong one. That even happened to me a little while ago. This one includes one folio, okay? But what you get in it, it's an envelope style. It closes like this. It has pockets on the side. A, I want to say these are pockets here. I don't think these are foli or um, waterfall pieces. They're pockets. If I remember correctly, they're pockets. They may not be. They may be um, flip-out features. But there's that one. 
And then this one may be my favorite because I think this would be the cutest standalone folio and you get two in here, okay? See how it closes like an envelope in vertical or horizontal position? But look, this one has tabbed pieces. So you can do little tabs, like if you wanted to do recipes in here, it'd be so cute. And then this one goes this way. Now, somebody said they weren't sure it would close with three. Let me show you how to make that happen. All you have to do, and I didn't do a good job of it a while ago, but all you have to do is pay attention. I'll glue some in. I wanna have samples for up front anyway, so let me just show you. I really like this one. Do I wanna put this one in here? This is the one that's magneted like this and then does all the flippity flappies. Let's put this one in here. What does flippity flappy remind flippity you of? Flippity flappity. What's it remind you of? Daniel is Clarence when he plays Clarence. Mm -hmm. flippity flappity, flippity flappity. All right, I'm gonna glue this one in. Straight down. This one's going into the middle back. You can use sticky tape or whatever you want, to, whatever you're comfortable with. I would adhere this one straight down to the back. I wouldn't do this with one of those flip out ones, you know? I would let this one be straight in, okay? Now what you wanna do is you wanna pay attention. See how much space I've got right here? I can easily put another one in here, okay? So what I'm gonna do, try to get this where y'all can see it. Open that down flat, and let's see which one I wanna put in here. Maybe this guy. He's a biggie boy. Look, he's a biggie boy. I'm gonna put him in there and see if he'll work. Let me figure it out, right? This one is a thick one, y'all. Let's just see. I had no problems with my Downton Abbey. Um, if you haven't seen my Downton Abbey album video, check that out. I put a lot of photos in that guy and I had no problem fitting them all in here and getting it to close. No problem. So check this out. So what we did there, see that? And there's still plenty of room and look, that magnets over those two, okay? See that? So those are in there. And then what you wanna check is when you close this, find the magneted one. So this is the magnet one, so I can put a folio here, okay? So if I open this up, I can put a folio here. So let's pick one. I'm putting all the biggie boys in. I probably shouldn't, but I am. Well, that way you can see what how much it'll hold. Where's that one here is? Look, this is a whole this is a whole flippy out waterfall. Let's put this one in. There's no telling what will be on sale for Black Friday. Because we don't know. Because we don't know yet. <laughs> I bet y'all think we plan these things out in advance. Taylor will be like, y'all, I gotta get a sale going. Walk around with me. Tell me what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Everybody, listen, I saw Penny this morning. I went by her um, store, and she was like, what are you doing tonight on the show? I said, I have no idea, Penny. She's like, I would be a nervous wreck. I was like, I know there's something I need to do, and what I typically do is I walk around and I see what you guys have been asking me, you know? Uh, yes, they will fit when they're you full of paper mine and show them? I don't Just go watch my video. Timothy, have you linked the video? Y'all, I used a bazillion pictures in that one, and Where's they closed just fine. I don't remember where they put it. Let me think. I used well, a bazillion. I used a bazillion pictures, okay? A bazillion. Well, Angela, we brought in a, a lot of product in advance of Open House and Black Friday, so... Now, I told y'all, too, whenever I did um, my Downton album, I didn't add a whole bunch of chipboard and stuff like that. But I added a lot of cardstock and a lot of photos. And I used a lot of stickers. So right, We got 611 people watching, 372 likes. I am very grateful for all those likes, and we appreciate it. But if you haven't done it yet and you're enjoying yourself, be sure to click that like button for us and give us a thumbs up. One thing you got to remember, too. There's the link for the Downton Folio. There we go. Let me show you this, too. Do you see that that waterfall doesn't even take up the quarter of an inch space here? You know what I'm saying? Like, remember this. We make our folios that are a quarter of an inch um, thick all the time, and we fill them up, and they close with a magnet. You know what I'm saying? So this is not going to get super big. Can you see how much space is in there for stuff without getting super big? And here's the deal, guys. If you're worried about it, just don't put three in here. Put two in here and load it up. You know what I'm saying? Look, if you buy them that have three or four in them, just make more than one of these. 
I love them. I think they're really cool. And I think, um, I love the concept a lot. And better yet, if you don't want to put them in one of these, just make them and have folios. Uh, Y'all don't forget, Black Friday's two weeks away. So if you see something you want, you might want to go ahead and get it. What was the last? There'll be more good stuff for Black Friday. What was the last big folio before the ones he just installed? The last big folio. Here, I'll open it up and we can look. And we can look. This one. Is this the one you're talking about? I'll put it in upside down. But, I mean, it really doesn't matter. It works this way, too. <laughs> Is that the one you're talking about? I think so. If not, let me know. I don't know what you mean by if you start from the top. Does it matter if you start from the top? I'm not sure what that means. I'm sorry. I don't know what that means. Also, here's another cool tip. If it's a little bit baggy, uh, make a belly band for it. Sorry, y'all, I had to get a drink of water. Well, you have the Christmas prompt set, stamp set back in soon. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know because I don't do that ordering. <laughs> I don't know. Probably. I mean, they order as soon as, as soon as they're out, they place an order, so. All right, that is it. We went a tiny bit over, but not much. But I'm going to tell y'all something. The after show is its own animal. Listen to me. This is the after show you want to see. You will not believe all of the things that were gifted us over um, at Open House. And you will not believe the new product we have in. And I have some really cool stuff to show y'all. I'm looking at my whole stack. There's a there's a cute there's so many cute gifts. Just um come to the after show. There's the link to the after show. Tamith, are you proud of me? I even made one. <laughs> um <laughs> I hope this cleared up some of the questions that you guys were having about these. I think it did. I think it was a pretty good example. Also, let me know in the comments if you're watching this afterwards if you would like to see a standalone assemble this one, assemble this one, assemble this one. Because I can do that for you too. All right, we're going to head out of this one, and we're going to head over to the after show. So we will see you guys there in just a few minutes. See you in a minute. Bye now. Bye.